Um, well, I'm here today to uh, supposedly give a master class in guitar. And coming from me, that's kind of a joke, but I'll do my best. Encore méconnu il y a peu, les Danko Jones ont confirmé leur statut d'espoir du rock'n'roll testostéroné à la faveur de leur première partie sur la tournée de Motorhead. Et prouve s'il en était besoin qu'il y a encore des bûcherons au Canada. Well, I'm a pretty hack guitar player. Um, I play power chords and I just go up and down the board. I, I'm, I consider myself uh, a novice at best. <laughs> so uh, any licks I, 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 can, uh, I can show you, you could probably, people out there could probably play it better than I can eventually and probably come up with a better way and an easier way to play it. But uh, I suppose, Um, uh, they're all very simple and the one rule that I follow when I when we write songs and write riffs is uh, keep it simple um, those are always the most long-lasting uh, riffs and music um, so I don't really like to muddy it with complicated chords or complicated tunings I usually write and we usually record in, in E major. So very standard tuning. How about we start with the title track, Never Too Loud. Um, I just wanted to come up with a, uh, a song that was ACDC-esque, something that sounded like uh, something off of For Those About to Rock. So intros, the classic ACDC intro would be like a, something like a... That's kind of like a, a classic ACDC intro. Um, a band that utilizes that really well is a band like Turbo Negro. Uh, so I just came up, I was just fooling around during rehearsal one, one, one day, and I came up with this riff. Uh, you could probably figure it out, figure out a better way to play it at home, but this is how I play it. So uh, it starts off on the um, E. And that was pretty much the riff. Uh, so it's it's on the the uh, A string, and I'm on the seventh fret. And then on the D string, my pinky is on the eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelfth fret. So it's a wide span. If you can if you can kind of get your hand to spread out like that, then you're halfway there. So it's just and then. And then, and then I <clears throat> ended the riff with a, which is just A, G, F, E. That's pretty much that intro riff that gets reintroduced in the song later. And that started off the title track, uh, Never Too Loud. Well, there's a song off the last record, Sleep is the Enemy, called Baby Hates Me. And it's, it's got a similar intro to, um, to uh, Never Too Loud. And it's got a kind of an ACDC start like... When we recorded it, on the record, I actually finger picked it, so it was like, and I used a 335, a la Malcolm Young. And then uh, the main riffs, there's a variety of ways to play it, I suppose, but the main way I've kind of gotten used to playing is really cumbersome, actually. But now that I'm used to it, it's, it's easy for me, um, but it goes. It's pretty much all around. I'm playing the same note <clears throat> in different parts of the board during the same riff, but <clears throat> it's just a lot easier for me to do that. I've just gotten used to it and singing it. I'm, I'm sure if I was just playing rhythm guitar, I would do it a different way because it would be faster and easier and heavier. But I don't know. Sometimes I just get into a groove 
with playing a riff and I just can't get out of it and it would actually be easier if I learned it a different way but that's just how it is so that's baby hates me uh, do you want me to explain it um, well the main riff is so it's um, uh, B, B F sharp G sharp that's the main riff and then on the third of that I do it to uh, a C sharp so And that's the verse riff, um, and it's just a box. It's just a simple box. Um, but then um, the chorus is, is what I just played before. So it's uh, G sharp, uh, B, uh, E, and then F sharp, back to G sharp. And you can pretty well do that in a box. Let me figure it out here. And then you can do it that way, but I do it. You can do, you know, it's whatever. Um, and then um, the tail of that is. So that would be. Let me see here. C sharp, B, E, and then F sharp, G sharp. Um, and that's pretty much the song. It's pretty easy. It's it's we don't play math rock. It's pretty simple. Uh, yeah, it was Samuel Sin, and I guess that actually, out of all of them, has more of a blues influence. Um, the, it's a kind of call and response with the response being the riff. So I, it, uh, it starts off with my mama raised a devil child and then the response is and that's the fucking song and that's it. So it's just basically G sharp to B and then F sharp, G sharp. It's funny that I always end up usually writing in, I don't write on the F, G, uh, C, uh, A sharp box. I usually end up moving it a uh, half step up. Uh, I don't know why. It's always been more comfortable for myself. So that's basically the song. And that was probably the first song. And the second song was I'm Alive on Fire, which is... So it's just those three notes right there, um, B, C sharp, and uh, what would this be, uh, F sharp, and that's it. And then you do the same pattern, but you move it two frets up, and then the, the chorus is... It's really just really fucking simple shit. Uh, there's just no math involved, really hardly any thought. Um, I'm not schooled at all. You just go by feel, whatever sounds good. The one thing I am schooled in is listening to a lot of records, and that's just really what I go by. I can't even remember what, oh, it was National Acrobat, I think. So. <laughs> Ask me to play that same riff uh, uh, two weeks from now, and I'll probably draw a blank. <laughs> they just come in. I mean, I, I'm really, really bad at this. Uh, but it, you know, there's been times where I'm just where I just at sound check, and I'll run through every Metallica riff that I never knew I knew how to play. Uh, that's just how it goes with me. Uh, I, pff, but I can figure it out. I mean, if you give me like, you know, ten minutes, I could pretty much figure out any song. It'll probably be wrong, but it'll sound like the song. And you can get away with it and impress a girl or something. It's just really basic. It starts off in B and then to F sharp, so it goes. When I'm behind the wheel. And then it comes into a, once again, just like a. Uh, 
and that's it. That's a really, but then the, 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 there's a solo, and that's one thing that I'm not known for, are solos, but I put a solo in here, and the solo, you want me to describe the solo? Fuck. I don't even know how to do this. Maybe you can slow it down, but I do it. Staying in the box, um, in a C sharp, I suppose. And that's like taking two notes and making it sound like uh, more just by changing up the picking style. That's about as, as fucking crazy as I get. I'm about as far removed from Dragon Force as you could possibly find, so... I'm of the school where you don't have to have a million notes and you don't have to play at a million miles an hour um, to make it sound powerful and emotional. So I stay in the box, don't really go outside the box. Sometimes I do, uh, just to kind of get out of the mold that I've felt I've painted myself in. But I really just go for, um, you know, uh, bends and and stuff like that. Um, a, a guitar player that I get a lot of inspiration from is uh, Billy Gibbons, who can do that and have it sound like a million notes, but he's only playing three. So that's really kind of the inspiration I draw from when I, when I do want to do a solo, which is rarely the case. And plus, the reason why also is because I sing at the same time. So I can't really be doing rhythm, lead, and lead vocals all at the same time. So something has to be sacrificed, and my, me personally, I, I'd sacrifice the lead guitar player to just have the rhythm. I'm more into the rhythm anyway, so that's what ends up happening. Play the Blues off of our record, Born a Lion, is uh, a pretty straight-ahead rock song. Um, we just came up with the main riff while we were jamming one day, so there was really no thought behind it. And it starts off, I've never even really d described it before, but it starts off on a F, um, and that would be D. So F and D. With the C being the tail, so. And then a F with a G thing. G, so it goes, so, so you put all that together and it sounds like this. the song it's really easy it, ser seriously it is I mean a fucking child can do it I, I'm a kid myself I, I, don't, I have no schooling and it's not complicated I mean seasoned guitar players already know this it's a fucking simple tune <laughs> 